Hey everyone, we're talking about the bathroom this week, so I'm going to discuss a science activity you can do with your kids that can be in the bathtub or outside. We're going to try sink or float, and Rhodes has never done sink or float before, so um, we'll discuss introducing new concepts or vocabulary. When you introduce something new, you need to make sure you use simple language and Children you learn best from doing something. So that's what we call experiential learning. You want them to do the activity. They're more apt to remember the word or the concept if you're doing it while you're explaining it. And then we're also going to discuss think alouds. So I've, I've talked with you about a child with lower language, how you constantly narrate. When a child is, has more language, it's okay you're going to narrate your thoughts. So, hmm, I wonder what would happen if we do this. I think this is going to happen. Just whatever you're thinking, just say it out loud and that will give them the concept of, of just the thought process in general. All right, so are you guys ready to do sink or float? Yes. Okay. Now, I wanna tell you what the words mean before we start, okay? So, Sink means when something goes all the way down into the water. It goes down, 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 okay? Float is when something stays on top of the water, okay? Look, the leaf is floating, you're right. The leaf stays on top of the water, it can float, all right? So let's see what will happen if we try different things and see what will sink or float. And I want you to make guesses about what you think will happen, okay? What do you want to try first? My fish. Your purple fish. Do you think, wait, 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 take a guess. I wonder if it will sink or float. I think it will sink. You think it will sink down? Can I try? You think the purple fish will sink? Can I see? Okay, yeah, go ahead and try. <gasps> wow, Ram! Oh, it's You're right, the purple fish is sinking. And what happened to the boat? It's floating. It's floating. Fish. The fish went down, down, down into the water. The fish sunk, but the boat is floating. It stays on top of the water. Well, I'll show you what. And then with Remy, yeah, you're gonna continue that skill of expansion. So if he says something, I'm gonna state his idea in a more complete way. Remy, let's try something. Rem, Rem, what do you have? The spoon? Yeah. Tell me, I want the spoon. spoon. Oh, you have two spoons? Let's see if they sink or float, okay? Put the spoon in the water. <gasps> What's happening? It's, it's floating. Both of the spoons are floating. Um, can I show you what's happening? Look, now? Rose, I want to show you something. But look what happens with this spoon when you put water in it. <gasps> it starts to sink. When, the, when water gets on top of that spoon, it sinks. Let's see if water gets on top of this spoon, what happens? It still floats. Hmm, I wonder why this spoon floats, but this spoon sinks. What do uh, you think? I'll show you what goes all the way to the bottom. To me. Slow down, Ram. I'll You're show you. a little bit too fast. I'll baby. show you. Let me show it. The Please butterfly it sank. It's okay. That spoon keeps on floating, Ram. Let it let stays me. on top of the water. And then, I'll, I mean, I'll show you what it was all the way down. These little balls. You think the little balls are going to sink? Yeah. All I'm right. Trying yeah, try I'm, I'm going to try all of these. Okay. See if the balls will sink or float. And since it is a new concept, I'm, I'm saying those definitions over and over again as we're doing it. Oh, your garden shovel sank. It went down, down, down. Let's see what happens to the balls. Will they sink or float? Floating. <gasps> They're floating. So these are just some little berries yeah, that she floating. found on our walk that we just finished up with. <gasps> wow, they're floating. Did you think they were going to sink or float? You thought they were going to sink, but they were floating. What do you think the ball will do? Take a guess. Uh, 
float. The ball is floating. Remy, can you get that piece of foam under the chair? See what you think will happen. I'll see, I'll see the sinking piece. You think the, the foam will sink? Yeah. Let's see, Remy. Go to this. What's going to happen? It's floating. It's floating. The foam is floating. <gasps> Remy, look at the balls. They're staying on top of the water. They can float. Yay. Yay. All right, Rowy, I want to show you something. Can I see the cup? Thank you. Look, the cup is empty. I think it will float. And if water gets inside it, I think the cup will sink down. Should we see? Okay. First, just put it on top and see what happens. It floats. Look. And some water got inside. See what happens when the water gets inside, Rowie. Put it in. See what happens, Rowie. It's okay if the balls are in there. <gasps> What's happening? It's sinking. When water gets inside the cup, it starts to sink. Wow. Why do you think this spoon can float, but that spoon can sink?